And we begin with that gruesome and bizarre investigation. Law enforcement out searching again today, the same area where human body parts were found. This all started last Tuesday when a leg was found near Warnemont Golf Course. On Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, three more body parts all found, two of them near 30th and Lisbon, another near 31st and Galena. 30th and Lisbon is where the family of 19-year-old Shade Robinson says her car was found burned out just days before those body parts started turning up. However, investigators are not linking Robinson's disappearance to those body parts. Megan Lee joins us now. I know you were in the area around 31st and Galena for much of the morning. Uh, what do you see and hear from police? Yeah, Steve, I saw at least a dozen investigators here at 31st in Galena for a few hours this morning. They were down searching on the railroad tracks as well as a wooded area that's next to me and then around the corner at the play structure. Uh, this comes after our team was out here last night after human remains were found. And I did confirm with MPD today that they were out today searching for more evidence. The Milwaukee Police Department investigated the area near the railroad tracks at 31st and Galena, not once, but twice in the past 24 hours. It's scary. It's, it's beyond scary. MPD says human remains were found here Sunday evening. Sonia Dantzler is searching the area alongside Shade Robinson's family. The teen girl has been missing since early last week. I'm out here because I'm concerned about the young lady that's missing and concerned because they, um, the police is finding body parts. Police have not connected the body parts to the disappearance of Robinson. If it's not her, um, I'm just concern and out here I want to know what's going on. This comes after a leg was found in Cudahy on April 2nd and a body part and human remains were found on Milwaukee's north side near 30th and Lisbon on April 5th and 6th. After a weekend full of police investigations looking into body parts, what's what's going on through your head this Monday morning as we're here again? Well, to be honest, I've been kind of restless this whole weekend because it's, it's on my mind too heavy. The feeling of a heavy mind and heart is shared with Mary Duran, who walks by the home near 39th in Oklahoma frequently. Just sadness. This, this, this poor victim. My heart. The man who owns this duplex was connected to the severed leg found in Cudahy. We're unnerved. What is happening? Investigators haven't connected the severed leg to the other body parts found in Milwaukee. However, Duran is pleading for answers. Come on, Milwaukee. We we deserve more. We right now we're all speculating and that seems wrong to me. We need to know. We need to know. Our team did reach out to the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office as well as the Milwaukee Police Department and city leaders for comment on these investigations. But so far, we have not received any clear answers. However, we do know, according to booking records, the person of interest in the severed leg investigation is due in court tomorrow morning. Live in Milwaukee, Megan Lee, TMJ4 News. And we'll see if that court date holds. Megan Lee, thank you.